The Each Morning Madhouse. Say his name. Edu. <laughs> Edu Trent. I know it's an unusual name. For those of you that love Shawler Street, because I'm a big Shawler Street watcher, uh, you'll know him as Daniel Potts, who grew up very fast, can I say, when he went to Samoa. <laughs> 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 Didn't he? <laughs> He's in studio. Edu, great to have you in the studio this morning. Are you enjoying Shawler Street? I'm loving it. Yeah, it's been a really good experience, actually. The people have been great, and yeah. And you're still doing an acting course. Yeah, I am. I'm actually doing a course called Meisner with Michael Sassenti and um, I'm in my 40th week. So that's like a one night a week kind of deal. So yeah. Just and everyone else on the course really hates you. At the God, moment. I reckon. <laughs> oh, just a tad, just a tad. Well, because I'm quite a newbie at this acting thing. Like a lot of them have been acting for, you know, the last five, ten years. So um, I've, I've been doing it for about a year now and um, to get this role has been pretty, pretty incredible. But You yeah. must be the teacher's pet at the moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, he definitely grills me from time to time. Now that he's got a bit of a license to, you know. So yeah, yeah. I bet, and he'll be able to watch your performances on Shorters and critique them too. You know. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you play Daniel Potts on Shortland Street. I do. We've got a question for you from Erin. Hi, Erin. Hi. How are you? Good. What would you like to ask Edo? Um, I'm just wondering how. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm too involved in the show, and it seems like yesterday, but it only seems like yesterday there was this little tiny dweeb skinny boy that was playing Sarah Potts' son. And then suddenly he's eaten all his wheat bakes and he's this huge, studly guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Erin, it's um, I went to Samoa and I had a lot of taro and uh, oh. plenty of push-ups. So. <laughs> That's the trick. <laughs> I bet you get asked that a lot regarding yeah. that role. Well, everyone, can't, I tell them what role I'm playing. They're like, "What? He was a little weed last time he was on the show." So. Yeah, still not as bad as neighbours. Um, Scott Robinson. <laughs> One day it was a brooding guy with these big bushy eyebrows. The next day it was Jason Donovan. <laughs> well, that's the same as the baby Jay, JJ, whatever. Cool name, by the way. Thanks. Um, you know, because he's been changed about two or three times, isn't he? Such a cutie now. Yeah, he is very, very cute. So that's what happens on shows like this. And, and I wanted to know, what's your line technique? Because everyone at Shortland Street has a different learning lines technique. Are you uh, read it out to yourself, person with your hand over the page? Do you get somebody to help you? How do you master oh. that being a freshie? Uh, yeah, well, uh, first of all, like you ask yourself a whole lot of questions about the script. And then um, once you've you know written it out and do, done all that, then I take a piece of paper and just run it down the um, the script and kind of just say them one for one and if I get the wrong I get it wrong I start um, start again so and do you yeah. usually do you sometimes use other people to read other parts of the I script I do my flatmates have um, have got the unfortunate role of reading my text <laughs> late at night so <laughs> but they don't really have much of a choice so it's, it's good who, who on Shortland Street um, would be the grumpiest if you if you yeah, cog, cogged up your lines <laughs> I'd imagine Galvin Galvin's been there forever like if you had a scene with him and you messed up your lines he'd be the guy that goes no oh. Uh, um, I, I, unfortunately, I haven't done any scenes with him. No. But uh, Peter Mockery, he wouldn't be too happy, would he? Uh, he'd Australian. be good. He'd be, good. He'd be know, coaching he'd, you, wouldn't he? Well, he's, he's actually one of the best. He's uh, he's always kind of sat me down and asked me how's it going, and um, always given me advice and mm. tips and stuff. So no, Peter's been great. Peter's been really good. Had to have you back into his dressing room for a herbal tea. <laughs> Maybe teach you some med- meditation techniques that will help you uh, learn your lines a bit easier. Oh, so that's what that's about, yeah. So tell us a bit about yourself, Edu. Are you single? Ooh, that's a tough question. Uh, Come on, not you are, really. You mean yes. the R or yes you or no? Let's say I've got a teammate on the trial squad. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that one. Nice so. answer. Okay, and you are addicted to coffee? Um, I, I do, I am a bit of a cereal coffee drinker, actually. Really? What sort of coffee do you like? Are you a latte guy? No, I'm not, I'm <laughs> definitely not a soy, I'm um, soy latte guy. I'm a uh, trim flat white would be my, like, yeah. trim even? Wow. Well, yeah, you gotta gotta watch it, you know. Man's gotta watch his physique, JJ. Yeah, yeah. do your work out. You're a model, do. you're a model too though, aren't you? No, no, don't say that. Um. Uh, do I work out? I do do push-ups here and there, and I do go to the gym several times a week, yeah. Several but, times a week? Yeah, but not, not enough to be obsessed. Right. right. Not maybe like a little. Maybe yeah. a little. <laughs> yeah, not like, not like Ben. <laughs> and you're, you're South African. You were born in Pretoria? Um, I was born in Pretoria. I moved right. to a little town called Potchefstroom, which is an hour south of Johannesburg, and it's quite similar to Hamilton. So, um, yeah, it's a little hick down. Yeah. So, so who, who do you um, support in the Super 14? The Blue Bulls. Do you? Yeah, the Blue Bulls. So They're having a great year. They are having a great year. That's probably why I'm supporting them. Right. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I'm pretty pretty passionate with, when it comes to my rugby. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, and your family moved to New Zealand when you were... Eight. Eight? Yeah. I actually, I actually turned nine about seven days after we landed here, so... 
Yeah, so the, I've been here for 14 years now. Right. Because mm-hmm. you've lost a lot of your accent in that time, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Well, I couldn't speak English when I first came here. So I was, um, so my mum dropped me off at school and kind of left me for the first couple of days. And I was just sitting in the corner by myself with my rugby ball. So that's all I remember. And then <laughs> <laughs> couldn't talk to anyone. So, um, and then, yeah, so I just learned English here. And I guess that's why I've lost most of my accent. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. And yeah. I was reading your goals for 2009. You want to learn how to speak Spanish and learn how to dance. Mm. How are those two coming along? <laughs> Um, yeah, I, that's, uh, yeah, I, I, I want to learn Spanish a whole lot because I want to keep developing. But yeah, they're not really coming along at all, actually. So apart from jamming out and dance floor, but not really dancing that much. So, and- the Each Morning Madhouse.